Is not compulsory. He is coming, sir. He is. Yes. So he is coming because we are wearing masks. So I will wear it. So he called just to make sure everyone is wearing mask. Well, we are wearing mask, so he is comfortable. <laughs> Actually, my car is so I gave it my help. They drop into it. So then we all will wear a mask. That's why he's coming, otherwise, he won't come next week. Can I get a mask? No, it's mask. Use and throw mask. So the sound is already there. I think Zoom they won't hear. Okay, we don't want to call any inconvenience when you are Hari Hari Yeah. 
बे हा हे Oh, my God. 
understand the meaning of this song it's a very high song i don't think any way we should just go through the meaning then sing so we'll go through the meaning then once more we'll sing yes. so gauranga boli te have pola ka shari means and then shari goes into express uh, when will i mean I have some feeling of the meaning, but word to word, I am also not a Bengali uh, person. But I feel it means when will my when will the hair of my body stand on end? When will I chant the name of Goranga? When will I say Goranga and hairs of my body stand on? Hari Hari Boli Te Na Yane Bave Nila means. When will I say Hari Hari and tears will start flowing from my eyes? This is Narutanda Sakur's prayers. We don't even think that <laughs> because it sounds like impossible to even pray. Mercy, we cannot pray, but it's beyond us. But here, this is the prayer. Ara Kabe Nitai Chande Karuna Hoi. Kabe means. Uh, will show his mercy upon you. 
સંસારા બાસાના મોણ તાબુ તુચા હાબડા yeah you, we are getting a feeling of it. we'll see the exact meaning but just just a feeling when with this samsara is like the birth and death and also the material world basana mora tabe tucha hab that's the feeling i get when i think vishaya chhadiya khabe shuddha hab mana this is very easy to understand right kabe hama hera bo shirinda wana and when we lie after man has become purified will i be able to access this to some extent shivan down here rupa ragunatha pade hoibe apiti i also don't know exactly um kabe hama bhujavo se jugal priti what feeling do you get taste for radhan krishna radhan krishna um 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 yeah so let's see so first one when will that opportune moment come to us where we will be shivering of the body so it's not hair standing it's shivering shivering of the body as soon as we chant goranga's name while chanting hari krishna when will there be tears in the eyes when will you obtain the mercy of lord nityananda chandra then by his mercy will the desire for material enjoyment become very insignificant when the mind is completely purified being free from material anxieties and desires then then i shall be able to understand vrindavan and the conjugal love of radha and krishna then my spiritual life will be successful when will i be very much eager to study the books led by the six goswamis headed by rup and ragunath rup and ragunath das goswami by their instruction i shall be able to properly understand loving the pure radha and krishna rup and ragunath pade hoy be akuti but it seems like this means uh, the literature left by them. when will i be eager to do that to read them kabe hama bujavo se jugal apri so that seems like then i will be able to understand the tatva of the of radha and krishna through the books left by them my only aspiration is to attain the lotus feet of the six goswamis headed by shri rupa goswami shri raghunath das goswami Naratan Das constantly prays to attain the Lotus Feet. Nice, right? It's once again we say, Gauranga Bodhi.
ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣಪಾದಿತಾ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದೀನಬಂಧು ಜಗತಿ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾ ಕಾಂತ ನಮಸ್ತು ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಂಬಿ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನು ಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಾಮಿ ಹರಿಪ್ರಿ ವಾಂಛಾ ಕಲ್ಪಾ ತಲುಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧು ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಾದಿ ಕೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಗು ಲಂಗಾಯಿತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕೃಪಾ ತಮಹಂ ಬಂದೇ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ದೀನ ತಾರುಣ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಂಗಳ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಈಶ್ವರ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೃಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಿತಿ ನಾಮ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾನಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣಿ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶ Who is the slide changing? Is the slide changing on Zoom? Okay. 
Yes, Prabhuji. It's in. Oh. Are they changed? Slight changed? Yes, Prabhuji. It's changed, Prabhuji. Tumiyan Rahita Vancha se Haile Vaishnava Vaishnavela Papa Krishna Dudakare Sabha Whosoever welfare you desire, welfare, whosoever welfare you desire, whom, whosoever welfare you desire immediately becomes a Vaishnava. And Krishna delivers all Vaishnavas from the reactions of their past sinful activities. It is a fact that a fully surrendered Vaishnava is completely out of the range of material infection. This is to say that he does not suffer the result of his previous pious and impious actions. So this is a this is Mahaprabhu interaction with uh, the residents of Navadri and they are departing and Mahaprabhu is glorifying and Mahaprabhu is telling that whosoever welfare you desire immediately becomes a Vaishnava. If Vasudev Dutta desires anybody to be delivered, they'll become a Vaishnava. And Krishna delivers all Vaishnava from the reaction of the past sinful activities. So a pure devotee, he just desires, this devotee should be delivered. And Krishna is bound to deliver that person. What a power. <laughs> just that desire. That's why uh, Shila Prabhupada said to all of us, you have no qualification, I made your qualification. What is our qualification? Do we have any qualification? Has anybody here received the mercy of Lord Chaitanya from the song? Anybody received the mercy of Lord Chaitanya? Lord Nityananda Prabhu? Full of material desires? There is no end. Right? No material desires. <laughs> <laughs> What is not there? Everything is full only. <laughs> day after day, we are thinking like we are degrading only. <laughs> Nothing is happening. <laughs> Just time is passing. So think about it. Suppose 10 years passed. 25% over. How much progress is made? Hardly notice it. Three-fourth, if we live 70 years, three-fourth time, 30 more will pass. What will happen? If nothing happened in 10 years, what will happen? Correct? Think about it. <clears throat> so where is the mercy of Lord Chaitanya? How difficult it is to access the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. <clears throat> and it also emphasizes that uh, um, we are very insignificant. But at the same time, we should desire to spread the message of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Although we are very insignificant. What do we have? It's coming Nothing. Still, we should desire to assist. Why? Just to attack the mercy. Are we mercy? Free mercy is not available. Mm -hmm. When I asked Tita Bhatt, Prabhu, Prabhu, please pray for me, he said, Prabhu, you don't get mercy by asking everybody, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. Nobody will pray for you if you ask like that. He said, come and do some seva. Cut these vegetables. I said, okay, okay, give me the vegetables. He said, if you please devotees, then they will pray for you. They don't have to pray. If you please the devotees, your progress is defined. It's just if devotees think and they are pleased with us, through the mercy of Krishna's mercy will flow through devotees. Devotees don't have to do anything. They just have to be pleased with us. A positive effect is also there. Adverse effect is also there. They are like fire, you know. You can use it for cooking and for positive purpose, and you can burn us also, based on how you access. <clears throat> so, if a pure devotee like Srila Prabhupada desires, like our spiritual master desires our deliverance, then Krishna takes responsibility of delivering us. See, at some point of time, you put a lot of effort and you feel like you can make it. At some point of time, you realize, actually, I cannot make it. <laughs> Only mercy is required. <laughs> Otherwise, hopeless case. That's a good sign. <laughs> that it's not up to me. That's a good sign. Okay. So, oh, oh, oh.
करीते कृष्णरे नहीं टीचर्स मारा समा because of your famous desire all living entities within the universe will be delivered for krishna does not have to do anything to deliver all the living entities of the universe this we discussed last week right right yes yeah. when i said krishna is not did i say here yeah anyways um krishna does not have to do anything to deliver all the living entities it's effortless for him to deliver um i mean is it is there any effort for krishna to bring us back to him is there any effort what the chaitanya mahaprabhu what effort did he put to deliver everybody what effort did he put he told everybody chant hari hari and they got love of god is there any effort he gave love of god to tigers and lions and deers and elephants correct He he gave love of God to everybody. So is there any effort Lord has to put to deliver us? Immediately he tells Maya Maya Devi, "छोड़ दो एक शब्द बोलने उनको छोड़ दो प्रेम मिल जाएगा वो बोलते नहीं भगवान हैं इसलिए एक भक्त को डिजायर करना रूपा गोसाई बताते हैं ना जब भगवान आते हैं तो कृपा सिद्धा हम लोग साथ में सिद्ध पर अगर रियली मतलब एक होता है कि प्योर डिवोटी सबका भला चाहते हैं पर अगर कोई प्योर डिवोटी आपके केस पे आ गया ना इसको डिलीवर करना है भगवान कुछ भी हो और वो हमारे लिए प्रे करने लगे ना तब उधर हो जाए एक होता है जनरल मर्सी एक हो गया किसी के केस पे आ गए तो कृष्णा बिकम हेल्पलेस लाइक क्या बोलते हैं चॉइसेस मर्सी वो चॉइसेस मर्सी किसको अब मिलता है ना जो गुरु को अच्छे से प्रसन्न कर ले जाता है और गुरु को प्रसन्न करना एक मेटीरियल कंसेप्शन नहीं है ऐसा नहीं है गुरु सामने हैं तो कुछ खाना खिला दिया आपने और आप उनके सामने पूरे ह्यूमिलिटी के साथ एकदम महाराज एकदम गिरा हुआ इंसान ही बस ऐसे गिर गए तो गुरु का कृपा मिल जाएगा गुरु का कृपा एक्सटर्नल बेसिस में नहीं मिलता विल गेट द मर्सी व्हेन वी आर थॉरली प्लीज हम वेरी डिफिकल्ट राइट वी and that requires like generally what what it is seen be sincere in our devotional service year after year after year after year and patiently wait for the mercy of guru and krishna there is no other hope bhai koshish karta bhi hum log ikatta ho rahe hain that's why we are here together to discuss all the yeah. okay to so you read you also did to You didn't it? Okay. Yes, there are millions of fruits on the Dumbara tree. Millions of universes float on the waters of the river Viraja. Viraja is a river that divides the material world from the spiritual world. On one side of the river Viraja is the effulgence of Brahma Loka and innumerable Vaikuntha planets, and on the other side is the material, this material world. It is to be understood that this side of the Viraja river is filled with material planets floating in in the casual ocean, casual ocean. The name Vira. Viraja indicates a marginal position between the spiritual and material worlds, but the Raja River is not under the control of the material energy. Consequently, it is devoid of the three gunas. Hmm. So, probably we read it as Viraja. So, when there is a bar on the top, it becomes A, and when there is no bar on, it becomes A. So, it becomes Viraja. so if it has if we if we have to write viraja then what do we do to make it viraja yeah ha put the bar a on after r and then last a make it small 
then it becomes viraja or if you want to make it viraja then you put a on both good yes just a detail but just i thought to mention okay so what is the essence as a millions of fruits millions of universes float on the waters of the river viraja are you aware of this not aware of this <laughs> okay so you know the river viraja <laughs> oh really you had right bro what is river viraja that is separate between the river and there is there is actually a river which separates mm -hmm. this river water is spiritual and above river there is brahma jyoti and then the kind of planets and below and even in the river water there are unlimited oceans causal ocean is karna dakshina is it causal ocean <laughs> so you know karnada ocean same you know that in karnada ocean the lord is situated from his millions of uh, universes come from his pores so that karnada ocean is viraja river so you see all the universes are floating within the karnada ocean and then within each universe is garbhoda ocean please okay Okay. Ah, uh, last one. The Urumbara tree is filled with millions of fruits, and if one falls down and is destroyed, the tree does not even thank the Lord. Okay. Have you seen some tree which has millions of fruits? If one fruit fall down, do you consider? Fruit fall down. Just. step on so many fruits right yeah. so that these these fruits are like so universes each fruit is like universe millions of universes so if one universe is delivered what is the loss for lord krishna ek universe deliver ho gaya wo universe ke bare mein baat kar rahe the for level alag hai baat karne ka so that talking about millions of universes <laughs> Here, one Michigan is delivering one Michigan is impossible. <laughs> delivering a town is impossible. In a in a city of few hundred thousand, we have not even few hundred. This much how difficult it is. Without the mercy, with the mercy, you can deliver the whole world. <clears throat> yes, please. nothing much for him at a stage of pure devotion was still that <clears throat> maybe matter will be going on <laughs> There are innumerable life in the atmosphere. The causal ocean is considered the surrounding water from the sun. Karana of the Yara Nam, which is Karan Karana Ocean or causal ocean. 
So it is said that material world and spiritual world are both within that uh, region. Are both within that region. We cannot understand it because uh, we are accustomed to seeing that 2D graph. It's difficult to understand with our little, little small internet. <clears throat> but here, uh, this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking. And he's telling uh, Tara Gada Khai, the entire spiritual world constitutes unlimited opulence of Krishna, and there are innumerable Vakuntha planets there. The causal ocean is considered the surrounding waters of Vaikuntha Loka. It is said even within this Brahman Jyoti, within this effulgence, even the spiritual words are there within it. It's not that spiritual effulgence is over and then start and there is no effulgence. So effulgence is everywhere. But everything is floating within. But it's difficult to understand. Just like we have some understanding of earth planet. Yes? Mm. And then you read Sriman Bhagavatam about earth planet. Uh, have you seen earth planet description? A boom under there are multiple dimensions. It's very difficult, but for us, it's two dimensional. But for Bhagavatam, so it's very difficult to understand. <clears throat> Mahaprabhu is describing these universes are like pots in the mustard seeds, floating in the mustard seeds. And here, causal ocean, Mahaprabhu is describing, even the Vaikuntha plants are within causal ocean. Our understanding is below this causal ocean, Giravai. But it is said here, the causal ocean water is completely spiritual. All the Maya is floating within it. But still, <clears throat> here, uh, all the Vaikuntha planets are also in the causal ocean, and all the Maya and the unlimited material universes are also in the causal ocean. My appears to be floating like a pot filled with mustard seeds. Is it clear? Clear to me, yoga. That's okay. I'll move away. Some people have question mark. What are you doing? Let's go. 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 Mustard seeds with symbols of black. Material and mustard seeds. <laughs> right, that's a good analogy. <laughs> but how I understood it as uh, their metal minerals are insignificant. Mm. Just like in a pot filled with mustard seeds, likewise in this cosmic ocean, in this causal ocean, there are millions of universes and they are insignificant. Another place Prabhupada says, within um, the effulgence of the Lord, within Brahman, um, the entire material existence is like a cloud in the sky. Like a cloud, just like you say, there's small cloud, likewise, it's the causal ocean, then millions of universes are just like within that cloud. So, Prabhupada is giving, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving, it's like a pot filled with mustard seeds, or like there is some corner where there are millions of universes. So, for Krishna, for one mustard seed to deliver, doesn't matter. Do you know? That's how we can understand based on the commentary of our acharyas. Rest is beyond us. But the vastness it is described. You cannot understand the vastness, right? It's too vast from, from Lord's body, millions of universes come out. You cannot understand. It's the vastness of the Lord's body, you cannot understand. Anantashis, you know, Anantashis is holding universes. And you know how it is holding? It is like a mustard seed. One universe like a mustard seed on the top of a hood. You heard that, right? So it's just too too broad for us to understand. Kind of too big. Clear? 
So Vasudeva said that let me take the karma and let me suffer. So Mahaprabhu said for Krishna it's nothing to deliver my universe. It just you desired and it must be delivered. So then he is giving the perspective. How delivering a universe is nothing for Krishna. Mahaprabhu is giving how he is giving a bigger perspective because he is Krishna. So he is there. He is ruling everything. So he is giving us that perspective because it is nothing for Krishna. See? If all the universes are destroyed, the whole material existence is destroyed. Krishna does not consider it a loss. Why? Like a small cloud. If a small cloud goes away, do you think something? Okay, oh, that my cloud is not visible. There are millions of clouds. So the entire material existence is destroyed. Krishna does not consider it as a loss. But to speak about one master, see this loss. If a person possessing millions of wish fulfilling cows means one, she goes, he doesn't consider the loss. Krishna owns all six opulences in full. If the entire material energy is destroyed, then it is very insignificant. Very insignificant. Srila Bhakti Vinoda Thakura in clarifying verses 171 to 129 states that the meaning of these stanzas is very simple, but that the purport is a little difficult to understand. So if you all are finding it difficult, then Bhakti Vinoda Thakura is telling that's okay. He's telling it's bona fide. If you think I understood, then there is a problem. <laughs> Bhakti Rodakur is telling very difficult to understand. It okay. is a little difficult for them. Okay, continue. Generally, the conditioned soul forget Krishna when they are enticed by the material external energy. Consequently, they are called Krishna Bhakir Mukha, birthfit of their relationship with Krishna. When such a living entity becomes under the jurisdiction jurisdiction of the material energy, he is sent into one of the innumerable material universes created by the material energy to give a chance to <coughs> conditioned soul to fulfill their desires in the material world. Being very eager to enjoy the fruits of their activities, conditioned souls becomes involved in the actions and the reactions of material life. However, if a conditioned soul becomes Krishna consciousness, the karma of his pious and impious activities is completely destroyed. Anybody feeling ashamed? Nobody feeling ashamed? I'm the only one feeling ashamed. <clears throat> Just because of our independent desire to enjoy and we are sent in this material world and we are enforced with the three modes of material nature and kill, how we enjoy them. <clears throat> Being very eager to enjoy the fruits of their action, the conditioned soul becomes involved in the action, the action of material life. And now we are involved in the action, reaction, every day trying to enjoy. What we are enjoying is actually three modes of material nature. 
and completely caught up by the three modes of medieval nature and forgot the the sweetness of Vrindavan and the sweetness of Krishna and the sweetness of Krishna playing flute and the sweetness of the pastimes of Krishna and forgot everything and became completely absorbed in enjoying the uh, for trying to fulfill our material desire completely being controlled by the three modes of material nature. Nobody is ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed. <laughs> Pathetic, bro. <laughs> That's what today Ratan Das Thakur is telling. Vishaya chadiya habe shuddha habe mana kabe habe hera bushi vindavana. When will I become free from this desire of Vishaya of material enjoyment? Vishaya chadiya habe. When will my heart become pure? Kabe hema hera bushi vindavana. When I'll be able to access Shri vindavana? When I'll be able to access the when will I when will I develop an eager desire to understand Shishi Radha and Krishna through the literature of Rupa and Raghunath? When will I be able to when will I become eager to attain the dust of when will I become eager to aspire for the dust of the six Goswamis headed by Rupa and Raghunath? Anybody here aspiring for the dust of six Goswamis? Aspiring for the dust. Even think about it, right? We are very happy, right? <laughs> <laughs> very happy enjoying this video like this. That's why we are here. That's why we are here. Uh-huh. Anyone has anyone desire given by the whole song of Narutan Rastaku? When will I, when will my body shiver chant in the name of Gauranga? Anybody desire this? When will tears flow from my eyes when I chant the name of Hari Hari? Anybody desires? Nobody desires. Rupa and Raghura, Atma Kaam Karne Do Aamko. Thik hai, chal na. What is that desire? Bank account. Kitna paisa hai. Many really double 30 years. 20 years. Why? We don't have massive Nithyan. When Nithyan Prabhu Masi will come, then this all will become Tuch. Rakhtva Deham Puna Sesha Mandala Pati. Sherim Shada Tuch Chava. We don't have the mercy. The mercy is not there, na? See, we, desires, we have to desire. Either desire will be material or spiritual. That depends upon how much mercy we have and how much the heart is purified. We are struggling very hard to grow in this material world. You all agree? No. I'm the only one struggling very hard to grow in this material world. Huh? No, it's true. We are struggling very hard to grow in this material world. What does Krishna say? It's very difficult to desire Radha and Krishna. The desire also is very difficult. Why? Because our energy of our desire is focused in a certain direction. You have the desire? No. <laughs> you are a really great source. <clears throat> But I have long way to go. Okay. So you read? So you Chaitanya Mahaprabhu continued, Oh my Lord, O oh unconquerable one, O oh master of all potencies, please exhibit your external potencies to conquer the presence of all the moving and inherent living entities due to presence. They accept all kind of faulty things, thus provoking a fearful situation. You are also always engaged in your pastimes in the spiritual world, where you exhibit your reserved internal potency and sometimes you exhibit, exhibit the external potencies by glancing over it. Thus you manifest your pastimes, the Vedas confirm your two potencies and accept both types of pastimes due to them. 
this question statement from Chula Bhagavatam 10840. It is from the prayers of the Shri Gana, the personified Vedas, who glorified the Lord. So, Shruti is praying to Lord, Oh my Lord, O oh unconquerable one, O oh master of all potencies, please exhibit your internal potency to conquer the nations of all moving and inner living entities due to nations. They accept all kind of faulty things, thus provoking a fearful situation. Anybody can explain? What is Shruti is praying to the Lord? Please exhibit your <laughs> what happens when what happens when we are not able to access the internal potency? Why? Then due to nations, they accept all kind of faulty things, thus provoking a fearful situation. Then they have many, many desires. And you know what material desire gives rise to? Fearful situations. And why? Because the internal potency of the Lord is not revealed to us. When internal potency of the Lord is revealed to you, to us, then we'll be drawn by that energy. What does Lord Krishna say in Bhagavad Gita? Param That's the internal potency. When internal potency is revealed, like what does Rupa Goswami says? He begs all of us, holding his hands. This Rupa Goswami says, I beg all of you, please don't, please don't look at the form of Krishna playing food, flute on the bank of Yamuna. Please don't do that. Even if you try to think, nothing happens. We think Hare Krishna, Krishna playing through the bank of Yamuna. Immediately we'll be distracted. Why? No attraction. You all agree, right? Or I'm the only one. Think about Krishna playing flute. The mind will go to what all I have to do now. <laughs> what about the ceremony that is coming up? What all things needs to happen? <laughs> there is no attraction. Rupa Goswami is telling, please don't do that. Otherwise, you will forget all relationship in this world. We forget Krishna playing flute on Yamuna and we only remember all the relationship in this world. <laughs> this relationship makes us forget him only. He sees playing flute. <laughs> That's okay. This is what I need to do. So, Shruti is, the Shruti is the scriptures are praying to the Lord. Please reveal your internal potency so a living entity can be attracted. That's why we are mercy case. Mercy case means we have to be pulled by the Lord's mercy. And when will we be pulled by the Lord's mercy? When we get the mercy of Mahaprabhu and Nityananda. Till that time, we will keep on. Grain by grain by grain. Keep on recycling. Prahlad Maharaj says, Puna Puna Charvita Charvanana. Vahi khatya rengi hum log. Puna Puna Charvita Charvanana. You heard that, right? What is the... What is the verse? I forgot. Na Krishna Parato Svatova Mitho Patieta Griha Vitana Yes. But yeah, Pramara says we are we'll keep on chewing the chew. Whatever we are eating, na, we are not happy. We have eaten all kinds of fruits, right? In this material world. Are you happy? Eating all the fruits. Not happy, right? Eating all we have eaten all kinds of fruits in this material world, right? Not all kind of, but we have eaten actually, we just don't remember. All the fruits we have eaten, right? Whatever desire you have, you have fulfilled most of your desires, right? Still, we are desiring those the same thing, right? Again, the same desires. Keep on, keep on. Nobody is happy. So, Bhagavan said this material, everybody is trying to chew, chew what is already being chewed. Why we will think that maybe there is some juice, right? Because we are not able to get juice there. So we'll keep on extracting juice. <laughs> so I need to get it. And what is the juice compared to? 
sembilan Hah? Ya, that is one good example of us looking at another example scripture says is mirage. Mirage is illusion. Illusion means you think there is something out there. <clears throat> you run, you get it, and then you realize. क्या इतना मेहनत कर रहा था मैं ये पाने के लिए देन यू नो अगेन वी डोंट वॉन्ट वी वॉन्ट लर्न वी विल नॉट लर्न समथिंग नेक्स्ट डिजायर विल कम इट्स नेवर एंडिंग वन थिंग विल कम डेथ विल कम जूस विल नॉट कम You all agree, right? Yes. Time will go and death will come. पर क्या है ना जब तक कृपा नहीं होगा ना सीखेंगे नहीं हम लोग प्रभु जी भागते ही रहेंगे इस संसार में भागते ही रहेंगे भागते रहेंगे भागते रहेंगे भागते रहेंगे but design right <laughs> this is illusory energy of the Lord it is said it keeps us captured. we hear about krishna right are we very attracted to hear about krishna when the time come to hear about krishna ah, i have to hear about krishna now <laughs> so chal chal yaar hear about krishna lead right? it's a there are many important things to do why hear about krishna why hear so shruti is praying Due to nations, they accept all kind of faulty things. So they are praying to Lord Krishna, please exhibit your internal potency. And how did Krishna exhibited his internal potency? He came down and performed his past steps to exhibit his internal potency. Govardhan is coming. How many of you are eager to hear Govardhan Lila? Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> great, bro. Most of the time, what happened? Govardhan Lila. Now the speaker will say this. Now you know this. <laughs> then this will happen. Then he entered. He lifted, and then exchange. Same exchange, right? Any new thing you have? No new thing. <laughs> then mountain shiver. Like this is shiver. Yeah, I know that. What about this? Then when Indra came, yeah. And then by the time he is lifting, he is putting the Govardhan back. Now we are thinking, when will Indra come? When will see the time? Eight twenty one. So far, the Gordon is on the hand only. Let it go down. When Indra will come, and when Indra is ah, getting close, and then they beg forgiveness, and our happiness is over. <laughs> the past time is over. Hari <laughs> Bol, Gordon is amazing festival. Am I right or no? <laughs> Why? There are desires, and there are desires here. Really. That is not the desire. When Prabhupada would hear Krishna Katha, but he wrote when he would hear, he could not stop. Now that the Sakura is telling, when that day will come, when I will become eager, not like forcing oneself, somehow or other, when I will become eager. And it is said that revelation is based on eagerness. Just like how much hunger we have, if you eat, you can taste it. So how much eagerness we have to taste Krishna Katha or any any aspect of Krishna Katha? How much eagerness we have? So difficult. But there is lot of eagerness in this material world. You agree, right? Lot of eagerness. For that we really have to push energy to curb our desires. For Krishna, we really have to push ourselves to develop that desire. For material, it's like natural. Material attachments are like spontaneous. Krishna's attachment is like effort. So, कम से कम रो तो सकते हैं हम अपना सिचुएशन देख के यू कैन एटलिस्ट सी लाइक ओह माय लॉर्ड व्हाट इज़ दिस You are also always eager in your pastimes in the spiritual world, where you exhibit your reserved internal potency, and sometimes you exhibit the external potency by glancing over it. 
Thus, you manifest your pastimes. The Vedas confirm your two potencies and accept both type of pastimes due to them. So his internal potencies are reserved and his external potency. Sometimes you exhibit the external potency by glancing over them. And what is the external potency? Yeah, the Lord glances over it and that's how everything happens by his glance. Okay. <clears throat> Prabhu, you read? Yes, sir. The conditioned, the conditioned soul is always fearful due to being controlled by the external potency. Therefore, the conditioned soul should always pray to the Almighty Lord to conquer the external potency so that she will no longer manifest the manifest her powers which bind all living entities moving and in a by praying in this way, one will become eligible to remain constantly in the association of the Lord. The, this fulfilling the mission of going back home, back to Godhead. Does the external energy capture all of you sometimes? <laughs> no, when she captures, what happens? Can you think when she captures us? Can you think? You cannot think. When she captures, it's very forceful. You have experienced that. I'm the only one. <clears throat> very forceful, the external energy of the world. Her grips are very strong, actually. And if you're like, ah. Oh. So what does a devotee do? <laughs> Therefore, the conditioned soul should always pray to the Almighty Lord to conquer the external energy so that he will no longer manifest her powers which bind all living entities. We are all bound by the power of this external energy. And she is very powerful. <clears throat> Have you ever thought when we are in illusory energy, we kind of intelligence is lost and and another time when you are saying a Krishna conscious phrase, then you think, what I was thinking? Have you felt that like that before? You feel like ashamed of yourself? What that is Maya energy. Have you experienced or no? Or you are just saying like, this energy is so forceful and so many thoughts will come. And the next day you are in front of your lordship or your altar or in front of the deities and you're doing arati and your consciousness is purified. What was I thinking? By that potency, when she covers, she blinds us. Pura andaka. We have to be blinded to enjoy it. You know? have to be completely covered by usual energy to do any material activity. Completely covered. Then, you know, then we realize in other Krishna conscious engagement and feel ashamed of ourselves. Have you felt ashamed of yourself because of your power? And she acts from internally. And she will convince you this is what you have to do. Do it. And she will blind you. Yes. All we are used to the external energy of the Lord. <clears throat> the three modes of material nature. That's why it is said that one should pray. What one should do when we are one is in that condition? First thing is you won't even think what to do. powerful. <laughs> <laughs> but if her grips loosens now, then you have some free will there. Depends upon how much grip she has on us. If the grip is very tight, you will just be driven by that energy. But when the grip loosens, you will be so free. You will not be able to do it. Depends on how much attack is the energy. Then, if you have some free will, you know, 
it is said Bhakti Maharaj says that free will will come even in the dreams. You have to develop that free will. Sometimes externally when you are awake, you are strong. But in the dream, you may become weak. You have to develop that free will even in the dream. That, that free will comes by sharpened intellect. Krishna's mercy actually. And that is a test also. Then again, the force is very high of the energy. Then what is... <coughs> And let the material energy grip loosen her grip on you by your taking shelter of Krishna. We all have to go through these phases. Kaha Krishna Kaha. In this way, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu described the two qualities of his devotees, one after the other. He then embraced them and bear them together. So back to our Chaitanya Nila. <laughs> so he embraced, uh, he described the good qualities of the devotees, one after another, embraced them. And one by one, they fail. The Buddha said, Baksa Kamara, Sadhana, Bakti Rai said, The Buddha, Kisan, Hailam. Due to the impending separation from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the devotees began to cry. The Lord was also more due to separation from the devotees. And all the devotees were feeling separation from Lord Chaitanya. This is same as to the Gopinath. So he stayed there. He took Chetra Sanyas, residing at one place. <clears throat> so everybody left. Nitya Prabhu remained or he left? Huh? Uh, left. Mahaprabhu gave him the order to preach in Bengal. But some remained. And who all remained? Here. Mataji. Kashi Shwara. So who all remained with Lord Chaitanya? Who is Permanent Puri? Did Permanent Puri came in our discussion in the past? Mm -hmm. Ah, very good. Where? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Anybody remember this? Oh, very intelligent. Very good. So Mahaprabhu, he went to <coughs> Sri Shaila. And then there is a uh, there is a mountain uh, after that, you know, after he spent time at the four months with the Venkata Bhatta, the next destination was on a mountain where he met Parmananda Puri. And he stayed there for three months in a Brahmana. So he came to know that 
Pramana Puri staying in a Brahmana's home. So he ran. And he told Pramananda Puri, uh, Pramananda Puri told him that I am going to Jagannath Puri and then I am going to Bengal. So Mahaprabhu said, okay, you go. I will go further to Dameshwar and other places of Lord Ramchandra and then I will come back and then you come back from Bengal. So he went to Puri and then he went to Bengal. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Bengal. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sent Kala Krishna Das to Bengal to tell the, every, all the devotees. Parvanda Puri heard the news and he could not tolerate separation from the Lord. So he came running and Advaita Acharya and all, and all the other devotees, they were coming behind. Parvanda Puri came first. And Nityananda Prabhu, this time, this whole time, he was there with the Lord. I mean, not in South India too, but he was waiting in Puri. But now Mahaprabhu sent him also to Bengal. So Parmana Puri remained there with the Lord. He is also sannyasi. <clears throat> he is like his God brother. He is like his spiritual master. His spiritual master's God brother. So he is like his spiritual master. So he would always respect. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would try to hide his excess in front of Parmananda Puri because of the seniority. External seniority. And then who is next? Who is Jagadananda? Jagadananda Pandit? Jaga. Servant. Servant to Sabi. I mean, you know, you servant. Are you Jagadananda Pandit? Yeah. Satya Bhama in India. Very good. Satya Bhama in Dwarka. Jagadananda Pandit. Anybody remembers anything connected to Jagadananda Pandit? That's okay. Haan. Boy is coming every day to me. That is Damodar Pandit. Um, that, he is a very beautiful and he is a widow. Mm. That's Damodar Pandit. Mm. Jagadaranda Pandit, you know, oil pasting. This comes in until he likes. But we will see. He went to Sanatan Goswami meet Sanatan Goswami also later on. And uh, he, he also had a relationship uh, with Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, very frank, and he would become angry with the Lord, and Mahaprabhu would af be afraid of the mother and Jagadanda both. They both are constantly associate. So there is very close relationship. Uh, he tells uh, Sanatana Goswami that you have boils, you go away. And Mahaprabhu says, Jaga, what does he think of himself? You are fit to become the spiritual master of the entire universe. How does he has the right to instruct you? This is sheer impudence. Why Mahaprabhu has a relationship with Jaga? And Sasa Goswami says, how fortunate is this past time we discussed, right? Mm -hmm. So at least some, some past time we discussed how Jaga and So he came with the Lord and he stayed there also. Dhamodar Pandit also came with the Lord, he stayed. Nityananda Prabhu came with the Lord, but he, Mahaprabhu asked him to go and preach in Bengal. And then there is Saru Damodar, we know. Saru Damodar, who is Saru Damodar? Yeah. And you know where, how he met Lord Chaitanya? Saru Damodar Goswami. Saru Damodar Goswami's history. Saru Damodar Goswami. Lagega ki mein kuch kar raho. Yeah, he was from Navadvi. Then when Mahaprabhu took sannyas, he also went to Banaras in separation and he took sannyas there. You remember, you asked the question also yeah. on that day. And then later on, he came and he met Lord Chaitanya. So, Saru Damodar Goswami. And then there is Damodar Pandit we discussed. And who is Govinda and Kashishwar? Govinda and Kashishwar? God Ah, very good. <laughs> so, look, around, same <laughs> same <laughs> गोविंद एंड काशी ईश्वर दैट यू गो एंड सब लॉर्ड चेतन में then Govinda came first. Govinda says, I want to serve you. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, I cannot accept a God brother as my servant. You cannot accept a God brother as your servant. He is my God brother. So I cannot accept God brother as my servant. Then, um, then he said, but it is instruction of my guru. So what do I do? 
my guru wants me to accept him as my servant but i cannot accept a god brother as my servant so he asked some bhattacharya what should i do some bhattacharya said guru's instruction is supreme all the rules and regulations are subservient to guru's instruction then he says okay then he made govinda as a servant every day govinda would massage the feet of lord chaitanya after mahaprabhu take prasad काशीश्वर पंडित महाप्रभु सेंट हिम टू वृंदावन बिकॉज रूपा गोस्वामी फाउंड राधा गोविंद देव जी and rupa goswami had to write and find more excavate places find more deities and excavate more places so he needed help Ma- rupa goswami told lord chaitanya that radha govind dev ji is found then mahaprabhu sent radharani who was being worshiped as who was being worshiped as lakshmi in puri then mahaprabhu sent that and she came in a dream of pujari that i am radharani i am not lakshmi i want to be with govind dev so mahaprabhu sent radha rani through kashishwar and he told you go and worship them kashishwar said i cannot leave you then mahaprabhu gave him his own deity and he said take my deity and i am not different so kashishwar pandit went and he worshiped but that story comes later so at this point of time they stayed along with tota gopinath stayed tota gopinath is radha rani and he stayed i mean not tata go gadadhar pandit mm-hmm. he stayed at tata go pandit he stayed so that's all now all the devotees have departed and now mahaprabhu will go and take prasad uh, and it will take 2 3 weeks for mahaprabhu to eat okay. yeah we will see mm-hmm. well i don't remember in krishna leela uh maybe we can search uh, we can search on google who is samadha pandit krishna leela <clears throat> he was there when mahaprabhu came to puri but there are not many past times with him but it's just like nitanda prabhu is running and damodar pandit is and uh, jagadaram they are running behind the lord so it just comes in that perspective but the story that you mentioned that is damodar pandit widow and son and she is beautiful and you are sanyasi but that comes later in madhya leela when damodar pandit and mahaprabhu said when it was maharaj pratap rudra past time mahaprabhu said so you all want me to go and beg we discussed pratap rudra maharaj here so you all want me to go and uh, um, go to katak to meet pratap rudra maharaj um, i i don't know i can go but what will damodar say if you remember mm. so damodar said my lord what is my power you are the mm. self you are independent supreme personality of god and what can i do so there also damodar comes but not much past time so far but he is an associate of the lord and later on damodar pandit was uh, very like you know mahapur aisa nahi karna ऐसा भी करना ऐसा भी नहीं करना सो so, महाप्रभु बोले अब जाओ यहां से यू गो टू बेंगाल एंड टेक केयर ऑफ सची माता एंड प्रोटेक्ट सची माता सची माता नीड समी इंस्ट्रक्ट एवरीबडी यू आर सो पावरफुल यू इंस्ट्रक्ट मी ऑल्सो सो यूज दैट नेचर टू प्रोटेक्ट सची माता महाप्रभु उनको भेज दिए दैट कम्स लेटेस्ट क्लियर इज इट लॉट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सर घूम रहा है कुछ ज्यादा ही इंफॉर्मेशन पर क्या है ना माता जी आप पढ़ते रहोगे सुनते रहोगे ना तो आप एब्सॉर्ब कर लोगे बट इट्स 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 या लॉट ऑफ डिगोट इज ऑफ लॉर्ड चेतन सो वी विल एंड हियर नेक्स्ट इज प्रसाद पास टाइम विच बिगेन्स वील डिस्कस द सर्विस एटीट्यूड ऑफ सर्व भट्टाचार्य ही इज वेरी इंटेलिजेंट वो बोले कि सारे भक्त गए अभी कोई है नहीं महाप्रभु को जाके बोले आप मेरे घर प्रसाद के लिए आओ थर्टी डेज अ मंथ 
अपनी लिखी तीस दिन प्रसार के मेरे घर रखे मौके पे चौका मारना बोलते हैं उसको वो क्या है जब इतने सारे भक्त लोग थे ना दे ऑल बी इनवाइट द लॉर्ड देन ही वुड गेट हार्डली एनी चांस टू इनवाइट हिम फॉर लंच नाउ एवरीबॉडी लेफ्ट एंड ओनली दिस डिवोटेड आर देयर सन्यासीज एनीवेज सो सब वाटा चल गया वेयर कम दैट सही से 30 डेज अ मंथ यू कम मां प्रभु से नो आई एम अ सन्यासी आई कैन नॉट ईट एनी से 20 डेज 20 days in a month you come so this comes next week one of those impacts some of the for prasad the service attitude ultimately he says 30 days only but in a different way chila prabhu pad ki jai anarth pati vaishnav bind ki jai gaurve manande hari hari bol vanchakalpa tarudhe shakti pas mudhe e vaksha pati tanam pavani go vishnu bhavana So we sing Damodar Ashram now. Yeah. We sing here and then go inside and do Arati. Yeah. Sing here. Yeah. Okay. Good. Is it good question? Yes, Prabhu. Can we? I mean, if you have time, I can probably tell you just. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Viraja River, sir. Thoda briefly explain to me. Oh, Viraja River. Uh-huh. Prasad ke vakt. Okay. We'll finish then. Start serving Prasad the night. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so now Sachidananda. <laughs>
I have this open. I am not aware that it's not projecting here. <laughs> I am thinking some of them are shant shant sa lag rahe hain I just noticed you sorry bro it was my mistake <coughs> okay we'll start with the fourth one again oh fifth one again idam de mukham ho ja mat anta nilai idam ko dal se sneha aaya kaisa ho